All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back after your Quebec Nordiques defended the Stanley Cup. That is now three cups in what we started in 2023. Three cups in 10 years. That is absurd stuff. I think my goal is to go maybe another five years. I feel like 15 years is good enough. And then after that, we'll have like a whole franchise overview. But that's ways away. What we have here is... How should I put this? I don't necessarily think there's a lot to do. There's one contract. I think Stephen Lee needs a, a contract extension. But I mean, we have the cap space for it. I think... Yeah, they need a contract extension. Sergachev's asking for less, but he's 35. Eh. He's asking for less. I don't know. He's still got a top 4D tag. I'd go a year, but we have, we're gonna, we have what? We have like, let's see. It's cap space. We have 17 to spend. And it says Stephen Lee doesn't want contract extension so my best guess is we're just going to go to the draft scouting's done and hopefully we have an answer till then yes your quebec nordiques are stanley cup champions i'm kind of bummed out we didn't get the uh the whole celebration but we move I don't even know if we have a first round pick. <laughs> Patrick Liney's now a coach, okay. We won't need to do any pre draft interviews. We're a Stanley Cup champion, right? Um I wanna see what draft picks we have. It's now projected picks. Okay, so we have our first, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. Okay. So maybe we could trade some of our and scraps to kind of move up, but I had some guys at that 30 range that I was looking at. I'll show you. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. So we have Gord Welch. He's another playmaker. I don't necessarily think playmaker is the way to go. We have so many of them. I mean, we don't really need that. What I was looking at is Hanu Heikinen. Look at this guy. He's got some... It says he's got no weaknesses, but his puck skills are bad, his senses are bad, his skating's bad, but we don't care about that. Look at this. Look at... He's got a guaranteed zone ability and four guaranteed superstar abilities. At the age of 18, playing in an A-plus league, at, at 30, we could even trade back and get some value later. At 30, I think that's really good value and maybe come away with somebody else here. Another thought process that I had was this Matt Bickle guy to pair with Hans Ferkner. Hans Ferkner's an OFD. Matt Bickle's a DFD. And the question is, what do you do you give up to even get that? Right? And Vancouver, I don't let's do they need a defenseman? Let's see. I see who Vancouver has. Let's see. They have Bo Byram. And it looks like that's, oh, boy. That is absurd. Huh. What is this team? I don't even, like... team is putrid I don't think there's a world where we could trade up Grossman's the future I think <laughs> and Tiernetamaki's son maybe who knows or maybe his son's son 
yeah, I don't think there's a world where we could even potentially get him. I see skaters matching the block. They like, of course, like Bedard. They like Lee. There's this. What do you give up? Nothing. He ain't give up anything. He just can't. So I think we sit where we're at. Let's see if that Bickle guy, let's see what he was. Really, a 78 overall. He's not even NHL ready? Thought he would be. His defense awareness is actually kind of shit. In his... He's not even all that good. Okay. See who else goes here. Lehman, two way forward. Sexton, the power forward. A grinder. A Bohinsky. He's got relentless as his own ability. That's actually pretty fun. He's built poorly. Terrible offense awareness. Okay, defense awareness. Yeah, that's, that's just not fun. And top five, Kumanov. Okay. I'm going to sim up to our pick at 33 and all the guys that i wanted should be there uh let's just double check yeah welch is there oh, i could just do it this way stupid g welch is there hiking in siemens so personally i think we could even trade back to like 43 maybe even like mm, do we have what is trading back even gonna get us, right? Like, what's the what's the difference? We get our guy, we get a guy, right? Let's I just take our guy now. Screw it. Let's, let's let's show the other GMs that when you know talent, you don't sit here and you try to dabble, trade back, get value. Screw that. Screw that. Anyway, we'll get to this pick right here. The Quebec Nordiques are proud to select. Out of the Turku TPS in Liga, Hainu, or is it Hainu? I'm going to go Hanu, Hanu Haikinen. Welcome to the Quebec Nordiques. Let's see what he was. Dee -dee 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 -dee. 62 overall, power forward, elite, low, and he's got six total X factors. He's a, uh, he's a project for sure, but... But those kind of X-Factors, you can't really complain. Go to pick 99 here. If I'm not mistaken, the other guy I had pinned might be here. He might not, though. He's not. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's go by potential. <sighs> These guys got X-Factors. Does not look like it. it. Looks like we're shooting in the dark here, people. Hmm. Could use another goalie prospect. Vladimir Kalinin. Sorry, that's my dog barking. He's a little crazy. Tried to make him simmer down earlier. I just didn't listen. I saw a 72 overall. Okay, starter. I swear I saw 72 overall. That is absurd if they got him in the third round. 72 overall, wait. I know I'm not tripping. I saw 72. I think it was yellow team. Yeah. Oh, he's a fringe starter. Boo. Oh, wow. That sucks. Imagine if he had medium elite potential. That'd be insane. All right. Oh, shit. Not sim next pick. Sim to our next pick. No, I don't want that. I'm going to get a six. Make a pick. Let's make it a meme pick. Who's funny? Tyler Jeffries. That Ahmad Jeffries brother. Another Ma. Jonathan Ma. We are just collecting the Ma brothers here. Let's go. I already know he's shit, so it doesn't matter. We have our team. We know what our team's made of. We don't care about all this other BS. Another meme pick. Let's see. Another meme pick. Let's see. The Pope. Stall. Patulny, what a f fucking weird name. I 
Fata. Dallas Fata. Yeah, we're going with you. <laughs> uh, these guys are just happy that they're going on to a winning team. We don't even like them that much. Alright, we have one more meme pick, I think. Let's see. Declan Akers. Ott. Alex Ott. <laughs> Yebzru. Vezru, whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> Street. Cooper Street. Here we go. <laughs> From Bulgaria. Alright, I think this is actually our last pick. Dell's still there, Aker's still there. Let's take let's take Yezuru. I was thinking about taking the other pick. Great draft, guys. Absolute great draft. What a steal. Look at those names. Ma, Fata, Street, and Rue. You can't go wrong with it. Absolutely cannot go wrong with it. Um, resign phase now. Uh, let's just get these scouts real quick. Not get rid of them, but sign them. Pops still. Have a blast. Beautiful. Stephen Lee's an RFA. Yeah, we know, buddy. And if he doesn't sign here, we'll just protect him and get him on a one-year deal. It says he doesn't want a contract, but we know that's all a lie. He's asking for nine mil. What What did you do for me, Stephen Lee? What did you do? For, okay, 55 points, 56 points. I... <sighs> Again, we have to take with a grain of salt. He is only 20, but shooting stats are really good. Steve, I think Steven Lee's got to come back. Uh, let's see. He wants 9.950 times 0.85. He wants 8.4. We definitely have the room for it. I'll go, I'll go 8. I'll go 8-8 eight, eight at first and see if he likes that. So we'll, we'll meet in the middle. Only four years, though. We'll go five. How about that? If we go five, that brings us up to our, our range of 15 years. So we'll go, we'll go nine, nine, seven, then. For our good old Canadian boy, Connor McDavid. And then, I know Sergachev needs a contract, Fabro. They all want to come back, but... Look, yes, see, Sergachev dropped to an 82. I don't think... I think we go out and we get ourselves a new defenseman. Yeah, they're both really old. Sergachev, it was a blast having you here, but... That's about it. Valamaki does want to come back, that's fine. We'll go get some defensive help. And these are all just... Just bums. Except for these guys. Lance Cog never really grew, but we'll sign him because he's an elite. Just because you're an elite. Same with uh, 18. We just drafted him. I'll let him grow over there. Pyatt needs an extension. Anybody else, really? No, these guys aren't important. Top nine. We'll just qualify you. Hey, Goligoski never panned out, huh? First round pick. He just didn't have it. He never really, you know, smoothed out his game. He's just too raw. He's, he's 26 years old. He could be a... Uh... Oh, you're asking for 2.7 mil? You're funny, buddy. You can go to hell. Ollie Valley, it's a depth guy. Okay. So let's look at this. Let's go to forwards. We have ooh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or Bayev is making that much. How many more years? Is he on that contract for? Two more years? I think we traded for him. Wait, I messed up my maths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12. Perfect. Look at that. Forwards are set. Defensively, this is where we need the help. One, two. We need four defensemen. Holy shit. Absurd. It's like one of these guys would have panned out, but they just didn't. Look, Kachua. He might take a jump, but I doubt he's ready. We need four defensemen, and we, we're going to have not a lot of money to do so. I think goalies were fine. Yeah, goalies were straight. Okay. Let's see if Lee accepts. That's our scout. Look at that. Lee's coming back. Coming back. Pyatt, nice. Okay. Beautiful. So we need four defensemen. And we have... 10 mil to do so. 10 mil to do so. Where is the money going to come from? Hmm. There's no really good defensive guys. Let's go. Let's go by overall. Actually, let's go by cash. Dorey asking for it, and then we'll go defenseman. Oops. Defenseman, okay. Oh my, look how much defenseman they ask for, bro. That is absurd. We need, like. Dude, this is crazy. Why do defensemen ask for so much? We might have to trade for one. Look how old they are, too. Crazy. Jovanovski, 73, 77. If we go out, we sign two and then trade. Sign two. Let's see. They're, look how much they're asking for. Five mil. Crazy. Bjorn Foot, 85 defense awareness, 81 offense awareness. It's not terrible. Eric Hale, 84 defense awareness, 82 defense awareness. Why does he have such good? Why does he have five star? <laughs> That's absurd. Colin Johnson, 83 defense awareness. William Boychuk, 82 defense awareness. Lamaru, 86 defense awareness, 74 offense awareness, though. Mm -hmm. Julian Miller, no, 83, 85, 84, oh, I like this guy, is this Fred Frederick Franzen, we'll sign you, you're not getting three years though, you'll get a year, because we have to sign Bedard, <laughs> give you a year, 2-9, 87 defense awareness, 82 offense awareness. I like that. What, what kind of defense in two way? Okay, he's a DFD, so this is fine. You get one year at 2 9 again. Okay, so it's a 5.8 mil, right? Yeah, 5.8. OFD, 84 defense awareness. I forgot X Factor. And we'll go Bolton. Go another year. We're going to have to fix this defensive problem now. Because it's pretty bad. They haven't had to make... Like, I, I remember there was a time where... We... We drafted so many defensive prospects. But really none... Panned out the way we wanted them to. Like, none of them really, like... Took a, a really big leap. Like, I feel like... We were paying them a lot. And you'd hope that they would pan out. They just they just never did. Never did. Let's see if we got our guys here now, though. We should be fine now. Happy, happy, happy. All right, so we got three guys. So we can go out and trade for a fringe guy now. That really won't kill us. Let's see. Let's see.
there's nobody really else on those other three teams I looked at that I was really interested in. Calgary. I was hoping to get somebody who's like kind of decent, but that's not going to cost us a lot. You know, Dobson was one of our backstops for a while. Look at that contract. 9.3, 9.7 million. Absurd stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like not too many teams have good defense in. <sighs> Ryan Merkley, the GOAT. The GOAT. Look at all those years he spent with us. Six years. Loved Ryan Merkley. There's something about him. He's got that aura about him. Why are defensemen so expensive? If Dallas were retained, maybe. He's got pretty bad defense awareness, though, so no. We're definitely getting one of these teams to retain. Romanov. 80 defense awareness, 80. That's not bad. How many years do you have left on that contract? One year? Would they retain? No, they definitely can retain. 100% can retain. But my question is if they retain, what do we give up then? Right? Hopsal, zero, we need contract extensions. Okay. So this is our defensive core right now. One, two, three, four. Right here. That's your defensive core. It's a little bleak. Little bleak. Question is. 23 at 76. He's. Kind of worries me. He might to. Might to catch the boot. Let's look around the less. Okay, so we have Detroit. Detroit was a really good option for defensemen. It was Romanov. But if we can get somebody that's a lot better, it would not be a post. I mean, to make sure they don't have a lot of term. Like one year left. Yeah. Two years left. No. No. I'm like a middle, middle guy. Your check. Oof. There's no good defenseman, bro. They haven't signed Garrison. Look at all these. They've got defensemen. Dalin, 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 Dalin. Klingberg. Oscar Klingberg, defensive defenseman. The pair of Hans Ferkner. Two years left at seven five. Okay, so they get to retain a lot. I wonder if the Islanders are a competing team though. Well, the way their defensive call looked, it didn't look like it. it. Says they're a buyer, so we'd have to give up something juicy. But we need defensive help. So let's remember that. Who do 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 Pyatt, he's a defenseman. Ken Pyatt, we just drafted, right? Twenty thirty two, uh, two years ago. He's defensive when it's just shit though. Sixty eight nineteen, he could still kind of grow, I hope. Landis Scog, twenty two at sixty three, I wouldn't if you throw in him, Landis Gog, and maybe a first, you might be able to. Let's try a second. Let's see if that goes through. Le Couture, Landis Gog, a second for Klingberg. Okay, so it's probably got to be a first. Which, again, I'm not opposed to it. Where this is our, our window. It's not to snuff at all. First and a second. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see which skaters are matching the block. They want copstals. Body copstals. 92 defense awareness, 90 offense awareness. He's pretty fucking good. And all these other guys, they're all shit. Why do they like these guys? There's nothing good about them. You're not getting Hans. Alright, so the Islanders are out of the question. Okay, fuck you, Islanders. Adam Fox, you old fart. Bachvis, no. Philadelphia, definitely not. Jesus Christ, does nobody have fucking defense in? Nobody really has defensemen. Jamie Drysdale. F fucking Frederick Sontag. This guy never panned, in my eyes. In my eyes. For. At least for me. I could be wrong. Like, what do I know, right? Owen Powers making 17 M's? What does he do? Oh, he had. Holy shit. 81 points last year. Yeah, then look at the rest of the team. <laughs> What's Keen? Two way defender. Are they, is Winnipeg a contender? Winnipeg's a seller. For two more years, they'd have to retain for us. They just signed Nermi. An 89 overall. That'd be rock star. They'd have to, of course, they'd have to retain the entire salary. Well, not necessarily the entire salary, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we're still over the cap. We'd have to give up some cap. So what I'd be willing to do is give up one of these guys. Two-way defender. Let's see which one we like more. 85, 84, 89. Oh, wrong way. Okay, 85, 84, 84, 83, 87, 82. Defensive defenseman, two-way defender, two-way defender. I think it's... I think we get rid of the, the... The DFD. Right. And then we go... A first, for sure. We probably have to go two firsts. And then those two other prospects. Who was it? It was... Couture and Landeskog. Or it could be Vorobiov. He's making fucking King's Ransom. We could try that. See if that works. For Keith Keen. I don't know if that goes through. We could try. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. I don't think we can get Keith Keen. Well. We can get Korchinski for a year, but he's an OFD. We don't need that. We have we have Ferkner's OFD. McAvoy for a year. He's 36. Like, it, like, we're really not solving our problems here. We're kind of just going year by year, which I really don't want to do. Brassard, two-way defender. Are they a conservative? Oh, my God, they are. They have spent no money. Might, maybe. Okay, and then have them retain... 
How did I not see Broussard in the beginning? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Soon in. Landis Gog, Le Couture, and a first. For Mark Broussard, two way defender. Who I think we can unlock. He's kind of really struggling in Calgary. But the stats are there. Stats are 100% there. Ugh, not the snuff. This is tough. Hmm. Fucking shit, Will. Eighteen and nineteen. They both signed their rookie deals. I mean we could maybe wait on them and then hope throw one in and maybe <laughs> they're ready, but that would kinda of solve the defensive issues. Would they do both of them? Could throw in another first. Would that go through? Jesus, this is tough, guys. Like, we could rock it with our socks off, but I really don't want to. I kind of want a mainstay. Matichuk, two years. Again, okay, he's defense or OFD. Brandstrom for a year. He's an OFD though. They haven't signed Garrison. Nobody's got good defense in, bro. Moro kid might be good. Eh, he's a terrible awareness. Try to get this Bickle guy, and we could just slot him right in. So he's ready for top six. What worries me is his offensive stats. But maybe I could be wrong. All this for Bickle. Try that for Bickle. Okay, let's throw in the first. Let's throw in the first. Well, how these guys have no cap? Like they're all below the cap floor, and I'm fucking at the cap ceiling. I'll throw in a second. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We're gonna rock with our cocks out then. We are gonna rock with our cocks. Oh, let's right, climb these trades. That's kind of it's a bummer. There's no good defense in the league, and I feel like I there's a like 
a couple years in a row where I was drafting defense and heavy and none of them panned. None of them panned, which is it's actually kind of depressing. And then in free agency, the like the Boris Kaminsky, we drafted him, and he's a bum. Like and the defenseman in free agency asked for so much because they know that the market for for them is high because there's no good defenseman. So if you're uh, like an okay one, people are gonna ha like you're forcing teams to have to spend that kind of money on a defenseman that isn't even up to up to par with that AV. Hmm. If I ever did another franchise mode, I would fucking make sure I I came away with at least two stud defensemen, and then they can just be the backstop for years to come. Forwards are so much easier to get, I'm guessing. The way it, the way it seems, right? Oh, just look at this. Look, I'm making you guys to do this trades. I'm not going to put this in the video, though. <sighs> Fucking Vince done. How many more trades, guys? There we go. I think we made it. And you know what else I was looking at is we haven't had one person be on a 100 point square. Isn't that crazy? I always find that so crazy. Who's got better face-offs? 81, 77, 85. Okay, Jeffrey in the middle. That's right. That's what it was. Uh, Delmore is up here. Because this is our grinder line. And we have our playmaker, sniper, power forward. Power forward, sniper. Hey, okay, we did double P forwards. That's right. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Something's keel homa goes out. There we go. All right. Keel homa, Bedard, Gontar. The lines that have been for a while. Misa, Jeffrey Lee. Top six basically been the same. Delmore, Saprikin, Borbiov. He's making 7.3 mil a year. Yikes. I didn't sign to that contract. <laughs> and then we have our old grinder line with Sweeney. Carpentier and Hogan. Defensively, this work was kind of bleak, but we made sure that chemistry-wise we'd be okay. Uh, Copstals, Ferkner. I think we draft. Did we draft Copstals? I don't think. Or we got him from Dallas, I think. Where did we get him from? Columbus. Okay. Anyway. Copstals, Ferkner, Bolton. Franzen, La Couture, they have they eh, put up La Couture, they think he's ready. Alright. And Sunan. It's bad defensively, but you live and die by your offense, I guess. We just gotta hope our offense is good enough. Power play. Bedard, Gonchar, Misa, Kilhoma, Jeff. Mm. What are the Why is Misa in the front of that? It should be this. No, 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 no. Kill home in front. I want. There we go with the playmakers. I might want Miso on this second unit. Hmm. I'll we'll rock with our cocks out. Distributor is our boy I guess Misa, yeah. Finisher should be Jeffrey, Puck Carrier, Bedard. Beautiful. Power play line two. Lee Saprika and Ferk was Ferkner was on that that's what it was. Ferkner needs to be on that PP one. Okay. So we'll take out we'll take out Misa. Put in Ferkner. Yes. Changing current line. There we go. Now we can do this. Distributor. Valeri. Finisher. Ahmad. Puck carrier. Beautiful. And then we go like this. Take Ferkner out. Put in Misa. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. We have our power forward in front. So Preakin, Vorbiav, beautiful. Distributor. Of course, it's Misa, finisher. I guess it's... Stephen Lee, technically. Puck carrier, Sabrikin, sure. Alright, good. Looks good. I like it. Captains are all the same. Nothing changes. Alright, and we will sim this first month, and then we can get out of here. So let's sim this first game. Versus Colorado. The Colorado. They know we need defense, and it's crazy. Oh, these terrible trades out of here, bro. But yeah, like I was saying, though, is we haven't had a single person record 100 points in a season. Isn't that crazy? With all the talent we've had, even Bedard not even being over 100. He got the 99. <laughs> I'll do scouting off, off screen. All right. Colorado, we're going for the three-peat this year, which is crazy to say. But either way, for your... The 2034 season, first period. Here we go. Wow. Offensive outburst. Lee, La Couture, and Lee again. Triple L. And then Fatino scores on Hopkins. 3 to 1. Outshoot him 16 and 9. Beautiful. Second period. Holy cow. Bedard showing up. Is that? Uh, yeah, it's late in the second period. Yeah. All right. Close it out, boys. Third period. Here we go. Wow. Holy shit. Gonchar, Lee, Gonchar, Bedard. An 8 1 thrashing in the home opener. If you were a paying fan to that game, I'd say you got your money's worth. But anyway, here we go. We'll go to. Yeah, the first. We've got the 10 games. There we go. 3 2 win. Oh my god, losing 8 4. That's. That is. Not fun. Winning 7 2. There we go. Big. A lot of offense. <laughs> To start this the season. 4-2 loss. Tough. Let's bounce back. Tough. Columbus. Come on. Tough loss. Is it defensive? Is the defense that much of a problem? Holy cow. I hope not. Oh boy. Alright. 5-5. Five and five. We'll Check the stats and then we'll head out of here. Steven Lee's got 14 points. Lee us some points. Jeffrey's got 14, Misa's got 13, Bedard's got 10. So we have four people, point, basically point per game or over. Oh my god, Steven Lee's at 87 now. Holy cow. Let's see how the goalie's doing. Yikes. Defensively, it's not even a problem. They're all pluses. But I will see you guys in the next one.